What's up, you fuck cunts and cum sluts? It's your boy. Back at it again. The fat man's back. Uh, we're doing our Survivor Series predictions. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're here. So, um, whew. first match on this uh, list here. I have this website. Um, kind of looks a little odd, but, you know, it'll get the job done. I hate the way they have it laid out. I was reading the matches, and it kind of confused me before filming. But first match we're going to be talking about here is Carlito versus Santos Escobar. And I, I, I'm, I can't do a good fucking Mexican voice. But Carlito and Santos. Now, 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 now. Santos wins. Listen, 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 everybody. Santos wins. Here's my explanation. I know you don't probably don't need one because it's obvious. Why would Carlito come and destroy this up and coming heel? Could be the heel of the company, heel of the decade, heel of whatever you want to say. Why would Carlito come and destroy what could be the heel, the, the, the top heel of the company in a few years? No. Santos could be that. And I'd honestly, I'd really like it. He could be like a, he could end up being what, what, what would be a good example? No. I was going to say Alberto Del Rio, but I couldn't see him being like a modern Alberto Del Rio. He could be... What, what's a bit... There's no There's no really great Latino heels other... Not really Eddie. Dom got Eddie covered. I don't know. But he's not going to destroy an up-and-coming great heel. Santos is going to be his own guy. Why am I trying to compare him? Santos will end up being his own guy, great heel of the future. Next match. Now. Hot take warning. But we got the next match. Gunther versus The Miz for the Intercontinental title. <sighs> Hot take warning, like I said. Gunther, longest reigning Intercontinental champion of all time. Over a year. As champion, I believe. I believe. Let me uh, let me double check. Uh, longest intercontinental champion. Uh, uh, what the fuck is this? How do I, how do I check this? Yes. Okay. God, why is why is this web website so shitty to check? I'm not cutting all that out so y'all can see my struggle. But longest reigning Intercontinental Champion of all time with over a year as champion. I, uh, where's the? Ex is there an exact date here? No. Okay. Um, but over a year, June 10th, 2022 is when he won it. It's clearly been over a year, right? Now, The Miz, greatest Intercontinental Champion of all time, right? N no one can really doubt that. No one's going to sit here and argue with me that The Miz isn't the GOAT IC Champion. So, hear me out. Miz beat, beats Goon, sorry, sorry, I said that backwards. Gunther beats The Miz, right? Elevates Gunther, right? A little bit more, right? Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Because The Miz kind of, he's kind of washed, I guess you could say. Elevates Gunther to another pedestal as an Intercontinental Champion. The Miz beats Gunther. Elevates Miz to a different pedestal as the GOAT IC Champion. Saying that The Miz beat the longest reigning IC champion of all time, right? So it takes The Miz to another fucking level. Not just that. It also puts the strap back on The Miz. He can elevate it even more because he does what The Miz does. We're all forgetting that The Miz isn't some bum. The Miz could be in the top 10, maybe, of all time. Or if you, if you can't say top ten, at least top fifteen. That because the Miz, Mike Mizanin, 
is fucking goaded. We all love The Miz. So pr my pick, give it to The Miz. Put the strap back on Mike. Bro, I swear. It, great for business. So my pick, lock it in. The Miz is taking home the strap. Next match of the night they got on this website is Rhea Ripley versus Zoe Starks for the Women's World Heavyweight Championship. Now, now, now. I don't know why they booked this. There's no fucking chance in hell Zoe Starks wins. No fucking chance. Coldest take of the century, Zoe Starks isn't winning. Give it to Mommy all night. All night. Mommy is Mommy. She mommy. Mommy. It Rhea's retaining the title and still your women's world heavyweight champion. Easy. Lock it in. Rhea Ripley. Now, next match of the night is the women's war games match. Now, hear me out. This match could be fire. This could be a fire match. Because I'm not, you know, huge women's wrestling fan. Right. But I do, you know, I do watch my women's wrestling. Okay? And every single person in this match, with the exception of Shotzi, is a bona fide goaded women's wrestler. Shotzi is kind of a bum. Let's be real. Shotzi's a bum. But, you know, damage control minus Dakota Kai and Asuka. I don't know if they're considering Kyrie Sane a part of um, a part of Damage Control. Probably not. Probably not. But you know, uh, Bailey, Oscar, Io, Kyrie Sane versus Bianca, Charlotte Flair, Shotzi, and Becky Lynch. Now, banger of a match. I'm telling you right now, this is going to be a banger. Going to be. If it weren't for the men's War Games match, this could be match of the night. Such a good match. I'm telling you right now. Hmm. Team Becky has to win, right? Team, but the, then, then that would kind of be, you know, <laughs> burying EO as our current women's champion. Uh. Give me Team Becky Lynch and friends. Give me that. Uh, that's, that's, lock it in. That's my pick. I could be 50-50 on it. I could be swayed over, depending on how the match goes. We'll see. Now, the bona fide match of the night, bona fide stud, uh, the men's war games match. Now, I'm telling you right now, this match right here would be better if it was five on five elimination. If it was five on five, five elimination, match of the fucking decade. Cause look at the people in this match. Nothing but people who, who could carry Nothing but main eventers. Straight main event talent. Except for JD McDonough. Fuck you, JD. I don't like it. But, and Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn is main event talent, but I just don't like him. I don't like his character. Him as a person, probably a cool guy, but I don't like the Sami Zayn character. Never have. Fuck Sami Zayn. But we'll continue. So, uh, team, you know, Cody and friends, also known as Cody Rhodes, Seth Rollins, uh, Jey Uso, Sami Zayn, <laughs> Randy Orton. I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. They got fucking Randy Orton. But we'll come to, we'll come to that later. <laughs> come to that later. On the other side, we got, you know, Judgment Day plus Drew McIntyre. So, they cooked with this one. They uh they uh they, they they pulled out their inner Walter White and uh, Jesse Pinkman. And they cooked up with this one. This is gonna be a good match. Good good ass match, right? But I don't got a damn clue who's gonna win, unless the theories, the theories, the theory crafters are fucking true. And Randy Orton still has that uh that anger towards Jay and Sammy and he comes out and he's on some BS we know Triple H loves his uh his long term storytelling even though Triple H you know might be going down with the ship 
uh, if the rumors are true about him and uh, Stephanie splitting up, he might no longer, you know, have his his power. But you know, ignoring that, ignoring that. Uh, yeah, we got, we got, we got, you know, a difficult choice here. Um, Drew McIntyre, Finn Balor, Priest, fucking Dom. All people I want to see, you know, succeed. But on the other hand, it's Seth Rollins. Right Sorry here. about that, y'all. I was, um, I was trying to do this in one take, you know, one take, Timmy. Eh? If that's a that's a that's an inside joke, if you don't know where that's from. But I was trying to do this in one take. But I received a phone call, and you know what they say when you record on your phone. Receiving a phone call pisses you the fuck off, and you want to kill the motherfucker they called you. Fuck you, John. But we'll continue watching this. Continue watching this. Not watching this. Talking about this. My fault. I am retarded. We'll continue talking about this. Where was I? What was I talking about? What was I talking about? Oh, yeah. All people I want to see succeed. But then on the other hand, Cody Rhodes, Seth Rollins, Randy Orton, Sami Zayn, Jay Uso. Main event, Jay. <laughs> that was that was cringe. Why'd I do that? But, you know, the boys, the homies, the gang, the squad versus all, all people I'd love to see succeed. All people I'd love to see win the big one. Except for Dom. Dom don't deserve the big one yet, but I like you, Dom. I like you, Dominic. Seeing this, Dom, hit me up. You know, let's do a collab. Get you get you on the toy hunts. You know, let's go look for some toys together. Bro, Dom. Also, Dom. Sorry. I'm sorry I'm begging you for shit. But can I get can I get whenever your judgment day figure come out, can I can you slide your bro slide your brody figure? You know I want it. I don't like the one you got out right now. It, it, okay, you have a judgment day figure. But it doesn't have the, you know, the mullet. And I, in case you don't know, we're kind of mullet buddies. You know, we got the mullets going on. I like my mullet. My mullet's better than yours, though. You have the depressed emo kid mullet. I have the cool mullet. You have the depressed. My mullet's better than yours, Dom. But, you know, I want the mullet figure when that comes out. Now, now that we're done begging Dominic Mysterio for stuff, uh, I'm, I'm picking the Judgment Day in gang. Um... Judgment Day and, well, and, and Gang. I meant Judgment Day and Drew. Unless Drew ends up joining them. It'll be a whole thing. But we're picking them. And you know what? I think Randy will do the thing. And Randy will turn on them. Because I feel like the anger he has towards Jay and Sammy for taking him out of action for over a year will still be there. And then Cody Rhodes. Cody could might... Cody might do a whole thing like, Stop, Randy. You know, I brought you here. It's on me. I'm sorry. I brought you here, you know, legacy, you know, I, you could do a whole thing, but I still don't think, you know, the Viper gives a fuck. He's fucking Randy Orton, you know? So, but I'm picking, I'm picking Judgment Day and Drew McIntyre to, to seal the victory. And that's it. That's all the matches. There's rumored that they're going to add, uh, LA Knight and Solo Sokoa as a match. Uh, but I mean... What, what can you do? I don't think they're going to add it. This match is, this match card is already pretty big considering two War Games matches that are probably going to last 30 minutes to an hour each. So we already have a stacked card. It's not like we need anything else. Uh, once again, another Roman Reigns-less pay-per-view. Even though he was at Crown Jewel, but it, it, it didn't matter because... We knew he was going to beat L.A. Knight. No one thought L.A. Knight was winning. If you did, you're stupid. But, yeah, another Romanless pay-per-view. Uh, yeah, but that's been all, guys. So, uh, thank you so, guys so much for watching. Uh, today's Thanksgiving, but I'm uploading this, too. I'm uploading this right now. Uh, as I'm recording it, this is going up. Like, 10 minutes later. 10, 20 minutes later. This is going up. So, fuck are you still on YouTube for? Hop off this shit. It's Thanksgiving. Go spend time with your family. Go eat your turkey. Uh, mac and cheese. Those are the two ones that I know everybody has. I don't know what else people be having on Thanksgiving. That's what I eat on Thanksgiving. My mom some, sometimes makes a brisket. I know I'm going to have some brisket. But go. it's Thanksgiving. Go eat. Go spend time with your family. Fucking get off this. Thanks for watching the video, though. That's why I threw this at the end. You know, if I told you to fuck off at the beginning. 
fuck would you fuck would you still be here for? But I'm telling you right now, fuck off. Go go somewhere else. It's Thanksgiving. But like, comment, subscribe first. Don't don't, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that jam. It's been me, guys. Bye bye.